Okay, as you can see right here, we got our rear spoiler that is mounted to the top of our uh, tailgate, lift gate. And sometimes when uh, you're removing factory pieces, okay, the way that they do it at the factory, okay, might be different than what you think. So if you remove all the uh, fasteners, which would be our nuts on this, okay, do you understand what I'm saying? All right, there were two nuts, one on each end. What might happen is you still will come across the fact that it will not be removed. Now the reason for that is because this particular piece right here is actually glued on, okay, and bolted at the same time. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your, uh, see I'm, I'm, I'm upset, okay, I'm upset that I don't think that I'm actually teaching anybody out there anything, and uh, it's just an irritating situation, but uh, yeah, what I got here is I got my uh, putty knife, there you go, it's a putty knife, okay, and I'm going to take my hammer, now the reason I'm using a putty knife is because it's uh, very, very thin, and it will cut through the glue or adhesive that they have on our tailgate without messing up our spoiler. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my putty knife, just like you see here, and I'm going to go ahead and tap it in there, okay, to break the glue. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut the glue, all right, if you notice. And I'm being very careful doing this, all right, I'm not being forceful with it, because all I want to do is break the bonding between the two pieces. And if you watch close, now what I've done, I went all the way around it with my putty knife. I'm going to take my small pry bar, and I'm going to lightly pry up on that and remove it. So now, if you look at the end, okay, you can see the adhesive, okay, the adhesive strip that was applied at the factory, okay, to give it the rigid strength that it needed, all right? So that's very important to always pay attention. You can see how my blade had cut the uh, glue off. So putty knives are very, this is just your inexpensive putty knife that you can purchase anywhere. And that's an expensive tool to have, more than using it for putty. So the final step on removing our hardware and what have you, okay, uh, well we got our stoppers here. These are a very important item on your vehicle, okay, I'm going to show those to you. All right, these uh, have been around forever, okay. And it's typical design of this type of vehicle. This is called a rubber stopper. Now, this is an adjustable rubber stopper. If you look right here, you can see the threads on it. Okay, it's very important not to lose those, okay, because that's actually what adjusts your uh, tailgate or your hood or your deck lid or your trunk or your doors, okay? Any removable part that opens and closes on your vehicle, these are adjustable stoppers that will align your body parts up to make it look like a perfect fit. So don't lose those. Those are very important. Always keep them in a safe place with your uh, hardware and fastener cup, maybe, for instance. That might be a good place for you to put those so you don't lose them and then have to go to the dealership and buy some more. Okay, this is my friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend Pete. We're here teaching you, okay, teaching you step-by-step -step procedures. Do you really need to know how to do this? Do you really need to know? Probably not, okay? But if you watch the videos, okay, what's going to happen is you're going to find little tips, see? You're going to find little secrets. Does that make sense of how to do it right? What we got here is we got our tailgate that we completely removed everything off of and it's ready for refinishing. The next step is what we're going to do. I'm going to walk you through it, okay? We're going to go ahead and scotch bright the inside of the tailgate 
We'll paint the inside of the tailgate, okay? You can't see the tailgate. There it is. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll go ahead and scotch bright the tailgate. I'm going to say it one more time. We'll go ahead and scotch bright the tailgate. Scotch bright the tailgate, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll refinish the inside of the tailgate. Let that dry overnight. We'll come back. We'll refinish the outside. We'll go ahead and blend the paint into the dented area of our vehicle on both sides of the quarter panels. We're going to blend. And then we will re-clear the areas need be. Put it all back together. And our vehicle will be done. I would like to say this has been a trials and tribulations time. Uh, very irritating. Very irritating. Uh, what I've just done for you, I've showed you meticulously little stupid crap that you might need to know. Because that's how my friend Pete is, see? Uh, do I like doing that? Not really. Okay? I would rather just take it all apart and say, there you go. But you know what? When I was a kid, and when I wanted to learn how to do something, nobody would show me how to do it. I learned from my mistakes. Take, for instance, our uh, spoiler, okay? I learned how to do that by myself. Because somewhere, somehow, in my life of travels, I fucked it up. I fucked up and had to pay for it the hard way. Do you see what I'm saying? Learn from your mistakes, and the mistakes will disappear, sir. And one day you will be teaching somebody the right way to do it. This is Pete. I got to go. Okay, I got a lot of other stuff to do now. I, 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 it, it. Thank you for watching DIY Auto School, and I hope to see you again in the near future. Don't miss all our beautiful, crazy episodes of how to do it the right way. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.